two, excellent. Perfect. Combo three, good. Hi, runner. Mo hey, it's Mo Perfect. Combo one. Hey. Hey, it's Momo, here to explain the drift mechanic. By holding the drift button, your character can execute sharp turns, helping you navigate tight corners swiftly. It's particularly useful for sudden changes in direction. Perfect! Combo 1! Good. Perfect! Combo 2! Perfect! Combo 3! Perfect! Combo 4! Perfect! Max Booster! Hi, Runner! Hey Runner, it's Momo. Let's get into the D-Style technique. D-Style involves chaining drifts and afterdashes continuously, allowing you to maintain speed and direction over extended distances. Begin with a drift, and immediately activate an afterdash at the end of the drift. Alternate your drift directions in a slalom-like pattern to sustain forward momentum. Mastering D-Style will significantly enhance your game navigation. Start practicing D-Style now. Runner, it's no Runner, Momo here. Let's cover the afterdash technique. Afterdash provides a quick speed boost following abilities like Parker skills, rolling, and drifting. To perform an afterdash, hit the dash button as an ability ends. Remember, the window to activate afterdash is small, so timing is crucial. Start practicing this technique to enhance your movement fluidity and speed. Runner, it's Momo. Let's talk about the grind obstacle. Grinding is a technique that lets you traverse along rails rapidly, adding a dynamic element to your movement. Jump onto the green grind rail to activate it. If you want to perform a grind switch, an ability which allows you to jump off the rail to the side, double tap the direction you want to switch to. Grind switching allows you to switch to a different rail without losing your momentum. Now time to master the art of grinding.
Banner, it's moment. Runner, it's Momo. I'll introduce you to the Wall Run obstacle. Wall Run uses the perfect line as guidance, showing you where and when to activate it. The right timing will get you into the move. The key to maintaining a Wall Run lies in hitting the timing button when the outer circle meets the inner circle. It might require some practice, but mastering this skill significantly aids your navigation. Get ready to practice those Wall Runs! Runner, it's Mom. Runner, Momo here. Let's talk about dashing. This ability boosts your speed momentarily, allowing you to cover larger distances swiftly. To dash, simply double tap and hold the dash button. However, dashing consumes style points, earned by hitting the perfect line or executing mid-air tricks. Be strategic with your dashes, considering your style points and the game situation. Now, start practicing your dashes. Hey runner, Momo here. I'll guide you through striking. A strike lets you leap forward, rendering you invincible to moving obstacles. This technique is handy for covering large gaps and bypassing low obstacles. To perform a strike, just hit the strike button. Strikes consume style points, which are gained by hitting the perfect line or performing mid-air tricks. Use your strikes wisely considering your accumulated style points and the game scenario. Now let's practice those strikes. Hey Runner, Momo here. Let's talk about dashing. This ability boosts your speed momentarily, allowing you to cover larger distances swiftly. To dash, simp- Hey Runner, it's Momo. You can earn style points by hitting the perfect line or executing mid-air tricks. These points are more than just a score. They play a practical role in your gameplay. You can spend your style points on actions such as dashing and striking. Dash- Momo. Now let's explore the roll mechanic. When falling from a height, hit the jump button just before landing. This action triggers a roll, preventing a crash landing and preserving your momentum. The key here... Hey Runner, Momo here. Let's discuss tricks. 
To execute a trick, be in midair, hold the trick button, and select a direction briefly. Successful tricks are confirmed by a trick flash and add style points to your SP bar. Good. 
Yeah. 